Hi, I'm Holly with Let's Go Now Adventures, and today I am going to give you 12 tips on how to get the most out of your cooler this summer. Now, you know, whether you tent camp or RV camp, our goal is to help you have a great camping experience. So if you find some value out of this video today, hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when we put out other awesome camping tips and tricks. And stay tuned to the end when I give you one of my bonus tips. So let's get started. You know, it's so important when you're up camping to be able to keep your food cold so it stays safe. And unless you have an unlimited supply of ice that is readily available, this can be kind of tricky, especially when you're gone for a couple days at a time. So here are a couple tips that will help you get the most out of your cooler. Okay, so tip number one, line the bottom of your cooler with blocks of ice. Now blocks of ice will last you much longer than just regular ice. So line the bottom of your cooler with the blocks of ice. Or what I like to do is take these big water jugs and freeze them. You know, this is great because these water jugs can also serve as an emergency water supply. Okay, so tip number two, freeze water bottles. You know, these work great for extra cooling. And as they melt, you have icy cold water for those hot days. Now, if you open up the water bottles before you freeze them and just dump a tiny bit out, that will help when they freeze and expand so the bottles don't go all wonky shaped. Tip number three is a tightly packed cooler will stay colder longer than one that has a lot of air. So use those water bottles that you have frozen to fill in the spaces as you pack. Tip number four is freeze your meals ahead of time. You know, a little bit of pre-planning and getting your meals frozen will definitely help your cooler stay colder and your food last longer. Now, obviously, if you packed your cooler and you're headed up for the evening, you won't need to freeze your meals, but this helps, especially when you're gone for a couple days at a time. Okay, so tip number five is use a cooling rack on the bottom of your cooler on top of your blocked ice or water jug. This helps so that as the ice melts, the food isn't sitting in the water getting soggy. Now, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but egg cartons that get in the water get very soggy. And I'll just leave it at that. Okay, tip number six is consider having a separate cooler for your drinks and your food. You know, you're constantly getting in and out of the drink cooler and opening and closing the lid. So by having these separate, that will help to ensure your food cooler stays a nice, even cold temperature. Tip number seven is chill your drinks first. Now this takes a little planning ahead also, but instead of just dumping a warm 12 pack of drinks that you just bought at the store into your cooler, if you chill them first, it will take less ice to get them cold and keep them cold. Now we have a fridge that's out in our garage, so I always make sure that 24 hours before we head on our weekend getaway, that I get the drinks in the fridge and chilled so they go into the cooler cold. Tip number eight is use an insulating mat on top of your food. Then you just need to lift up the corner to get what you need out. We also have lined the top of our cooler for extra insulation. Now, I just got some reflective foil insulation off Amazon, and this works great. And I'll leave the link below if you're interested in checking this out. Tip number nine is keep your cooler in the shade or just covered up, not in the direct sunlight. Also, keep an eye on your cooler during the day because it may start out in the shade, but you may need to move it throughout the day to keep it in the shade. And don't put your cooler in a hot car until you're right ready to go. Tip number 10, if you're at the beach, you can dig a hole in the sand and bury your cooler. 
the sand will actually help to insulate your cooler. Now don't put your cooler too deep down in the sand because you don't want the sand getting into your cooler when you open it up. Tip number 11 is grab one of these awesome cooler lights off Amazon. I promise you when you're trying to dig through your cooler in the middle of the night and it's dark, you will thank me. They turn on when the lid is lifted up and they turn off when the cooler is closed. Or you can just take a couple of glow sticks and these work pretty well also. Tip number 12 is use a basket or a plastic container for your produce or some of your more delicate items or things that you get out frequently. Then you can just reach in, grab the entire basket out of the cooler without getting in and out of your cooler a million times. Now I like to keep all my sandwich stuff and produce in a bin just on top of everything in the cooler. This makes for a really easy way to put together your lunch. And now for my quick bonus tip. Clean your cooler as soon as you get home. Now I know that sounds kind of silly, but there has been plenty of time that I have gotten home, we're tired, I put my food away, but have not cleaned out my cooler. And boy, are you in for a stinky surprise next time you open up your cooler. So when you get home, just fill up your cooler with some water, add a little bit of Clorox to disinfect it, and then rinse it out. And you will be ready to pack your cooler for your next adventure. And then it's clean and all you need to do is take a towel or a t-shirt and slip it inside between the lid and the cooler and that will help it keep it from going musty. So question of the day, do you drain your cooler or not as the ice melts? Well, we actually drain the water from our food cooler so that things don't get soggy but we do leave the ice in our drink cooler because the melted ice cold water is actually colder than the air that you introduce by draining it. So what do you do? So I hope you have found these tips useful. Let us know in the comments below if you have any tips that you would like to share. We would love to hear all about them. And once again, we would love to have you subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching. And so from Let's Go Now Adventures, I'll see you on the next adventure.